So I challenge is it? Well, I'm seizing it. What? Because I asked you if you had any money, bulk money, and you said no. I asked you if the search and you let me. I'm going to put my... I'm going to put my... I'm going to put my... Okay, I'm going to put my... 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 I'm going to
bet I will. I'm not here stealing money. I'll give you a receipt for it, and then you'll be on your way. Is that what you want to do? Can I make a call? Nope. You cannot make any calls. Is that what you want to do? You have no right to take this money. Yes, I do. Not, I haven't done yes, anything. Yes, I do. Yes, you have. I believe you have. I believe you have. Okay? I mean, you put me in a place where I won't have I, to. It's not my fault. I'm not the one rolling with this no, much I money. I told you I have the cash. What difference does it make? I would have won. I've seen the cash. But in this particular case, you started down the wrong foot by lying to me about everything. Call, you can call You're, not, you're not, not calling out. anybody. It's an officer safety issue for me to allow you to call. No, you. For me, it's an officer safety for me. No, you can make the I'm not calling anybody. I don't I have to. I do not mind. have to prove my case on the side of the road. Okay, I don't have to prove that. All right, you can take these and the car and the luggage in your written warning, and you can leave, and I will give you a receipt for the money, and you abandon it, and you walk away, and you chalk it up to don't do this no more. All right, that's what it amounts to. This happens every day. I do this every single day. Every day I do this. This is all I do for a living. It's drug interdiction, and I get money. We're going westbound because it's in the middle of the drug season. The only reason why you have that cash is because it's related to some sort of uh, illegal activity. You know it, and I know it. If you don't want the IRS on you, if you don't want the district attorney's office looking at you, if you don't want to have your family involved or anybody else looked at in a hinky way, you walk away from the money, chalk it up to experience, and go about your business. And that's what I do with the majority, everybody that's what I do with because they don't want the problems or the headaches. So they abandon the money, they take what they've got in their wallet, or in this case, cashier's checks, and they bolt, and they go. And that's it. And then, they, and then they try not to get caught again if they do it again. Okay? That sounds fair? I don't have all day to sit here debating it. You need to give me a decision what you want to do. Either way, I can tell you you're not going to get the money back. You won't get it back. Because by the time you hire an attorney, by the time that the DA gets a case report, by the time this goes into any civil court, there's there's no way you prove any 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 substance to the cash or the money whatsoever, and you never get it back anyway. So it's your call. You walk with what you've got right now, which is ten thousand in cashier's check, and you go about your business. And that's what I can do for you. Fair enough. I'll get a receipt for you. I'll go to the Yes. Yes.
Come over here, man. Thank you. Oh, you're banning it. It's seized, but you're abandoning it. That's the reason why you're getting ready to go. Yeah, 